In this haunting image, a tiny seahorse floats delicately in the open water, its tail wrapped tightly around a discarded cotton swab. The creature drifts without understanding that what it clings to is not seagrass or a piece of floating plant matter, but a man-made object carried by the currents. Surrounded by the vast blue of the ocean, this small seahorse reveals how even the most remote places are touched by human waste. The item in the photo is a plastic stem cotton swab, commonly made from polypropylene. Many countries around the world have already banned plastic cotton swabs, including Canada, the United Kingdom, India, Australia, South Korea, Tanzania, and more. Yet the United States continues to allow their production and sale, even as these small items are regularly found in coastal surveys and ocean cleanup efforts. Cotton swabs slip easily through wastewater filtration systems when they are flushed or washed down household drains. Their size and buoyancy allow them to travel far across the sea where they drift among plankton and floating vegetation. Many personal care brands, hotels, and retail chains rely on similar plastic stem swabs for makeup removal and hygiene products, and their lightweight means they can move through the environment for years. Scientists have documented cotton swabs and other small plastics as a major contributor to microplastic pollution. Seahorses often cling to drifting objects as they move with the currents, a natural behavior that becomes dangerous when the ocean is filled with debris. Studies show that plastic fragments now appear throughout marine habitats, from shallow coral reefs to the deep sea. This simple image captures a profound truth. Even the smallest objects we discard can travel across the planet and enter the lives of animals that have no understanding of our products or our waste. The seahorse, delicate and ancient, becomes an unwilling passenger on the tide of plastic that now circles the world.